Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside a 2021 Alliance 365 RD. This is a rear den floor plan, and Alliance is doing some awesome things for full-time RVers. That's right, this was built to live out of, and it shows. This is a large entertaining space in the back of this coach, thanks to the opposing slides and this den layout, which has these three couches. The two that are in the slides can convert into beds for guests. So that's an easy way to sleep an additional four people in this camper. And directly across from our entertainment center, we have theater seating. Now the theater seating does have recliners built in as well as some cup holders in the center and we have loads and loads of windows up here. They wrap all the way around this room. All of them open up and reveal screens that are gonna let lots of air flow through this space. So in days that are nice in the fall or in the early spring, we can just enjoy that outside temp. But if that's not the case and it's hot like it is in the South right now, we have three air conditioners on board, all quiet Coleman's that are direct dump. All three will work on 50 amp service. Stepping down from the den, we end up in our kitchen. Our kitchen is kind of awesome. Again, opposing slides just like the den really open this thing up. And behind me, I have the main hutch where this is directly across from our main entrance here. So as soon as we come through the door, we have this hutch that has all of our control panel right here in front of us, individual switches for all the slides, the primary lights, as well as the main two air conditioners in this area. They have a cool little spot right here to put your phone and it's got some USB ports up there as well. So tossing your phone and your keys somewhere as soon as you come through the door, it's a great spot for it. Awesome solid surface countertop here with some GFCI plugs. So hooking up your coffee maker or toaster is going to have a nice permanent home there. This comes with a Samsung residential refrigerator. I believe it's 18 cubic feet. And again, as we step further into this kitchen, we see more solid surface countertops, a large stainless steel single basin sink that has this wonderful grate, this cover that allows us to dry dishes. It also just kind of extends that countertop to give us more room to work. The hose that comes off of the end of the faucet here is great for washing dishes and other such things. And behind that, we have that Insignia stove. This thing is, is about as close to residential as we can get in an RV. And if that's not enough, there's a convection oven up top. All of our cabinets and drawers are soft closed, so that's really nice. All we have to do is get them close and they do the rest of the work themselves. And in this slide, we have our dinette. What I really like about this dinette is that it is free floating, so there's no pedestal or legs down there. That way we don't have to impact anything as we get in and out. Also, if we notice in our slides, they're carpet free. That means that if you have pets, you don't have to worry about having dander and other things just stuck and matted down in that carpet where it's hard to clean up and get to. Let's pop on up to the upstairs, but as we go, notice that right here by the door, we have some shoe storage up under that first step. So popping off your shoes and having them hit away as soon as you come in is easy to do. On the left and accessible with all of the slides closed, we have the main bathroom. It features an epoxy poured countertop as well as plenty of storage in the form of cabinetry all the way around it a very large shower enclosure with a built-in teak seat. The foot flush toilet is standard and there's a fantastic fan up above for exhausting any nasty smells. Pushing into the main bedroom here, we have a king-sized bed. This thing is sweet. It's actually a Serta mattress. I like that a lot. It's super comfortable. They have a padded headboard back there. His and her reading lights up above. USB charging ports on either side, as well as some storage up underneath. You see that we have two folding chairs that match the decor under there now. That would add to that dinette that we took a look at earlier, just a seat for smiling adults. At the foot of the bed, we have a nice little chest of drawers. It's actually pretty deep. I think these are great. You can get a lot in those drawers. There's even some hidden storage 
right up top. They put in an LG flat screen TV up here and then they've given us a little bench seat to sit down on and get ready in the morning. Behind me, we have our closet. The closet itself is nice and large. I can actually step into it, which is pretty cool for a fifth wheel. It's not often that someone like me at six foot three can do that. And on either side of it, we have hookups for a washer and dryer. Loads of storage is the name of the game with Alliance. It's certainly all here. And we're not done looking at storage yet. Let's go pop outside and check out some of the features that are out there. So out here at the front of this new Alliance, we noticed something kind of cool. It's that graphics package up there. Even though this is a 2021 model, we're kind of at the end of the year run and this is new. So it looks like we got a 2022 graphics package on this model. I love that black and bronze. I think it looks great. Let's talk about some of the storage that we have outside here though. The main compartment in the front, I want you to notice has slam latches and magnetic catches. We're gonna open that up and inside we have this big pass-through storage with our control center on the other side of that. The spray port is located right here by the main entry so you can wash things off. Solid step entry is always nice. It feels good getting in and out. And again at the back, We've got more storage. Let's open this up so you can take a look. We have pass-through right here, and it's on struts each of those doors, so they stay up on their own. That's pretty cool. But what makes that even cooler is the amount of access that we have in the back and the fact that we have this huge tray. This is a more ride storage solutions tray. It's capable of supporting a whole lot of weight, close to 800 pounds. So loading this trailer up and having all your fun toys with you is not gonna be an issue. I think it's big enough that we could even get a small kayak in there. Guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this quick tour of the Alliance 365RD. Until next time, happy camping.